just watched fucking King Crimson for a couple hours last night with like this seeing where all these bands came from. Like I see where Tool comes from. I see where all these bands like have have taken and not taken, but taken influence from them so ahead of their time. I just was so blown away mm -hmm. about like they had three drummers and then they had like Robert Fripp, Tony Levin, who's been in, like every fucking band wow. and like all these like amazing fucking musicians. The drum, all the drummers were a part of certain parts and like they would mix do, do like battle each other in the middle of the songs. They would do things. And I was just like, and they're like literally Tony Levin is 75. Robert Fripp is 75 year, years old and they're doing this. And I'm just like sitting there just going like, fuck, wow. should I, I don't know. Should I, even <laughs> I, I listen to some, <laughs> that's a mind blending bending show. If you guys get a chance to see that, if it comes to your town, I was jealous for sure. <laughs> nice. I'm skipping the show to be here tonight. <laughs> oh, it's there tonight. Yeah, it's oh, in it's LA. Tonight. Yeah. Uh, Beauty's there. Oh, that's so some, shout that's out some dedication right from the professor, dude. No, I uh, I knew I was doing other He's stuff. He's like, I can't. I can't. Joel, already, Joel already moved it. I moved it because of King Crimson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We couldn't do the show unless one of us didn't go to King Crimson. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Joel threw, threw straws on that one. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm just like yeah. talking to like, like messaging Lindsay like yeah fuck yeah thursday we got this blah blah, blah. No, full like, disclosure it was uh joel you you're going to king crimson next yeah week, someone right? told me like, that oh, and i was like oh dude. shit i am it was me dude <laughs> and it was while i was at your house no on the phone with you that i was yeah, like, we're like is well, it joel going to king crimson we like looked thursday? it up and we're like uh <laughs> isn't that on thursday when we do the <laughs> podcast like you know and he's just like dude yeah dude i'm going to see king crimson with my mom dude yeah, it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna go live and just do a podcast yeah. with my phone. I'll just, see you guys like, next week. He's like doing the podcast <laughs> while watching King Crimson, like holding up his phone, like on Zoom, like <laughs> just yeah, guys, the pissed so... off dads, like going, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, um, music. on the Coma Cluster Void beat, I remember all the stuff like of the beginning of the project coming out. Like I remember seeing some videos. I remember hearing some demos before. So was Thoughts of a Stone the first? official release from the band no it was it was mine cemeteries mine cemeteries oh. was the first release but um what what jean did was she put it out on um on dryland's records it's it's her it's her record label oh, okay. uh, since then what what happened is we had signed to translation loss records uh and then um thoughts from a stone had come out through them and now uh subsequently mine cemeteries is being re-released through them uh, on oh. vinyl both, both are on vinyl and uh, well, CD too. Actually, they're going to release it on CD as well. Oh, so. uh, but 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 technically, it was the first record. Okay, that's helpful. Um, I just remember like being like, okay, this band is going to be sick as fuck because I was into like like Portal a lot at the time, and I was into the dissonant stuff, and I was into like the you know low uh, string guitars. And is there isn't there like a ten string guitar on the yep. material? Yeah. yeah. Yep. And I was like, just like, okay, well, that's Christ. It's, it's like uh, it's more than nine or eight. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just remember thinking like, dude, this is this is the project for me. Like, this is perfect. This is like all the things I like. And uh, yeah, so I've just have been a fan ever since those early demos. And I remember like sending it to people. I'm like, dude, check this out. Like this this band is going to be huge. And so I'm just stoked that it's still going and that there seems to be a lot of momentum behind the project. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we are, we are, we are currently as, you know, as Lindsay was saying, we are working on new material. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think at this point, Lindsay, we have what, two songs. I think I, I recorded two. Yeah. One, I think I, I recorded Austin, two. I, think I, written, I don't think it was you. I think it was Austin, right? Yeah. I, I, think, I, I know you got some, some of your stuff coming up too, uh, that we're going to be working on. Yeah. So I think the way it's kind of, you know, since there's three vocalists in the band, there's myself, Mike, and Austin, um, and he's in Portland, so we're incredibly distributed. Um, but from my understanding of how we're working this, it's like each song has kind of, you know, one of us takes something of a lead, and then the other vocalists kind of support that. So, you know, one of the songs, Mike's the lead, one of the songs, Austin's the lead, one of the songs, I'm the lead. Um, so we've been kind of trading off like that. Um, and I, you know, cannot like, un I cannot overemphasize how brutal <laughs> these songs are, mm -hmm. you know, just it's, I'm so excited about it. Um, and I think it's just, it's such a, it's such a really intricate project too, that if you're, it's like one of those things where if you're a musician, you can listen to it and just break everything down and just like fucking get lost in the complexity of the music. If you just love brutal music, you can just enjoy it for how heavy it is as well. Um, so I think it's just, it's really a genius project. I mean, I can't like overstate like how excited I am about everything we're doing. 
so how much do you guys contribute? Like, are, are you able to write your own shit and bring it to the pot or who's the, who's the, is there a puppet master of the band? Like a main person that's been there from the beginning. It's their brainchild. I would say Jean for sure. <laughs> I, I hate the term puppet master because she's so wonderful. But <laughs> I know. I, I, I changed the strings. Of the- <laughs> yeah, she, do your she, thing. She really do your well, if, 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 I mean, if, so, if they literally give lyrics and tell you how to do it, it's basically a puppet master situation where you come in and just do what they're saying to do. I wouldn't she's like say she's, off. yeah, she's never told me how to interpret the uh the arrangement and what i choose to do vocally so Mm -hmm. i love that where i can really just you know feel it out the way that i i hear it in my head and and do that um and i i really love having that freedom and i think she understands that each of us are bring something unique to the table and that we should have the freedom to be able to to do that to make the to make the project what it is really you know yeah she she uh you know the one area that she she may be more involved in is like uh you know sort of you know i, I how she envisions she sees um you know this section maybe having some vocals uh, certain sections mm-hmm. i'd like vocals on these sections mm-hmm. um, but aside from that other sections are open and words the the lyrics the content is 100 percent up to us nice there is there is theme, uh, you know for both those first two yeah. records there are themes for, for those records. And subsequently we were, we were actually planning this, the new album, uh, Absurd Romanticism as something that was going to be a full, uh, uh, an extra to, or, or a, a continuation, I should say, mm-hmm. uh, an elaboration actually uh, of, of the first two records. Um, and I think, you know, with, with my own personal shit that was going on, we had, we had spoken a lot on how we were going to, you know, we had come up we, initially, we had come up with the story, you know, planned for this, a full plot. Um, wow. and, then, uh, and then it just kind of, you know, I was, I wasn't in the frame uh, of mind for that. So I think we put it on hold for that. And these are not to say that it's just a collection of songs because it's not, it is going to be an album, but it, yeah. it's not touching on every song doesn't touch on the first two albums. Mm-hmm. Um, there are songs like, in fact, the last one we just did, uh, is based on it's, it's an elaboration of one of the characters, if you will, of, of, uh, of mine cemeteries that comes back and, and we, we, you know, we elaborate on, on that story a bit, but it was going to be a full concept album, but it's it, it, at this point, it's not. 